Hi there, guys. Just a short. Oh, let me adjust the camera here. This is just a short closing note from Celtic Throwdown. Um, the long story short is the recording about halfway through gets completely and utterly corrupted. Something went horribly wrong. I, this, I think it's because I was recording for so long and I don't normally record for like six, seven hours at a time. So unfortunately I've just deleted it. It's not worth going through at all since only half the video is there. That sucks. Um, unfortunately that's just how it is. So you won't get to see matches from my perspective, but there were issues. There just were. Um, on the cloud server, inputs were dropping and stuff. It wasn't just me that had this issue. There was also Doppelghost and Spartan Throne that also had these issues. So when you, if you want to watch the matches from the Celtic Throwdown Twitch VOD, which I will, of course, link in the description, keep that in mind as you watch because a shitload of inputs were getting eight. Um, as for the pause, I accidentally paused at one point. That's on me. There's no excuses there. That's on me. And top respect to Lythero for being a good sport about it and doing a redo. Very much appreciate it, even though I don't deserve the set. But if you do choose to watch the VOD, just keep in mind for most of my matches, I think after, I can't remember the first one, it was... I think the first set, I think the first time it happened was when it was versus Lythero. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember exactly. But... I do like a game five button check, people think it is, but it's actually just me like disconnecting from the cloud server and then reconnecting and just testing things. Really didn't feel right after that. And like I said, Doppelghost and Spartan Throne also had these issues. So the thing is, is I only get these issues going over a great distance of someone that, like in America's hosting or whatever, which is of course understandable, or on cloud servers. These are the two things that really these issues seem to crop up on, and I just don't know why that is. So just keep that in mind if you do watch it. I'm pretty happy with my performance overall, but it was a horrible experience. The it, the, the screen teared, there was a few lag spikes, um, there was pixelation, hella, it was pretty shocking to be honest. Um, no disrespect to the tournament organizers, they did the organizing of the tournament very well. They did it they did a fantastic job in that regard, and they did say afterwards that apparently if you close Steam and such, then Parsec can run smoother. Give a second for that car to go past. They said that that can make it run smoother um, and can help with general performance, so that is something to keep in mind, but I don't really get this issue when just other people host, so I, I really think that there was something wrong with the server. I really do. Um, it was a... I, I don't fucking cars. I don't want to say it was a bad experience overall, but it was a very underwhelming experience. I expected a lot better of it, and it's kind of just hurt my drive a lot. It it was something that I really put a lot of time and effort into, into getting better in preparation for, and it just... It's just kind of spoiled, that's all. It was really... Like, it took away from the feeling of competition. Like, did I really win my set against Mr. E, or should I have lost it? Or, you know, did I really lose my set against How to Read, or could I have won it? You know, it, it really just takes away from that, because inputs were dropping, and... it It's just generally upsetting, to be honest. It's really left a sour taste in my mouth. That's all there is to say about it.